arms race is defined as a competitive attempt by two or more countries to have more army more weapons than the other in other words it is a competition by the countries to produce a large arsenal of weapons the the first arms race emerged after the destruction of the Japanese cities which are the Hiroshima and the Nagasaki by the American atomic bomb in 1945 since then uh, there have been there has been continuous effort to increase the nuclear weapon they, they think that by having a large large army of weapon they can be more secure towards the other countries basically there are four elements in the arms race theory first is the desire of the country itself if the if the country is is wanting to have a large army the other country will do it so next secondly is the is the is the effort of collecting resource if the if if a country is more eager to collect more resource for the army the other one will also put more effort to it too next is the competition itself if the competition between a and b becomes becomes more intense then there will there will be more effort to making arms and lastly is the quantity of the arms itself uh, the quantity of arms is compulsory so that we can visualize the number of the, the, the number of the number of weapons possessed by the country Generally, the main purpose of our study would be to apply what we have learned in class, which is using Laplace transform to solve first order ordinary differential equations. Next, we want to study the Richardson arms race model between two opposing countries. And by extension to that, we want to analyze the rate of change of arms buildup between these two countries. Arms race is a competition between nations for security in development and accumulation of weapons. Each party competes to produce more weapons, larger military and superior military technology in a technology escalation. Louis Richardson, the creator of this mathematical model, said that the likelihood of two nations for engaging in a in conflict can be determined by a set of differential equations which is the first derivative of x with respect to t equal to ay minus mx plus r second the first derivative of y with respect to t equal to bx minus ny plus s while x and y is the amount of weaponry the country has t is the time a and b represent the reaction to increase arms at a rate proportional to the amount of arms that their opponent possess. M and N represent the restraint faced by the country resulted in a reduction of arms stockpiles at a rate directly proportional to what they possess. Lastly, while R and S uh, are called leftover or other factors that not directly related to arms stockpile with the initial condition x and y equal to zero when time equal to zero. Given that the first derivative of x with respect to t equals 3y minus 4x plus 6 represent the differential equation for country x, while the first derivative of y with respect to t equals x minus 2y plus 1 represents the differential equation for country y and the initial conditions are x and y equals to zero when time equals to zero from equations 3.1 it could be written as equations 3.2 then we perform laplace transform on differential equation of x in 3.2 which will give us equation 3.3 we substitute the initial condition given in 3.1 into equation 3.3 to get equation 3.4. After that, 
perform Laplace transform on the differential equation of y in 3.2 which will give us equation 3.5. We substitute the initial condition given in 3.1 into equation 3.5 to get equation 3.6. Rearrange equation 3.4 for capital X of S as the subject and plug it into equation 3.6 then rearrange for capital Y of S as the subject. Then we perform partial fraction decomposition to get equation 3.8. After that, we perform inverse Laplace transform on equation 3.8 to get y of t equals 2 minus 9 over 4 exponent negative t plus 1 over 4 exponent negative 5t. Substitute equation 3.8 into equation 3.6 then rearrange for x of s as the subject. After performing partial fraction decomposition, the equation will be as shown in equation 3.9. Next, perform inverse Laplace transform on equation 3.9, then we will get the solution of x of t. Thus, the solutions to this problem are x of t equals to 3 minus 9 over 4 exponent to the power of negative t minus 3 over 4 exponent to the power of negative 5t and y of t equals to 2 minus 9 over 4 exponent to the power of negative t plus 1 over 4 exponent to the power of negative 5t. The computer added solution, we use MATLAB application to solve the Laplace transform. As a result, we got the same answer compared to the manual solution. For the interpretation of the result, the black curve represents the graph x of t where the blue curve represents the graph y of t. It can be seen that the graph x of t is higher in the amount of weaponry versus time compared to graph y of t. The graph shows that the expenditure of both countries drastically increasing at the beginning of the time before it enters a steady state, which means that both countries spend more at the beginning and when they have already enough arms. They only spend a steady amount of money over the time. As for the conclusion, we recall our main purpose for this project, which is to find the rate of change of arms split up for two counties, X and Y, with the constant that has been described earlier. Thus, after we managed to find the suitable mathematical model for this project, we use Laplace transform to perform our first order ordinary differential equations with initial value problems of x when t equal to 0 equal to 0 and y when t equal to 0 equal to 0. Based on the solutions that we got, we managed to find the same answers using both manual and computer aided solutions which are x of t equals to 3 minus 9 over 4 exponent to the power of negative t plus 3 over 4 exponent to the power of negative 5t and y of t we got 2 minus 9 over 4 exponent to the power of negative t plus 1 over 4 exponent to the power of negative 5t we can conclude that this method is reliable and applicable to solve the problem whereas it has been used for over 100 years ago for the recommendation we can use homogeneous system instead of non-homogeneous system as they are much more simpler and the last one we can use matrix system to solve the problem given.